Have you ever wondered what you would do if you got a puncture when out on a ride? You're probably in the majority who say, no worries, I'll call roadside assistance. But they won't repair the tyre. It may take hours for the truck to pick up the spider and take it to a, a repair shop. But it's Sunday and they're all closed, so it won't get done till Monday. But you've got to work on Monday. So you have to decide to either find accommodation overnight and forego a day's wage, or find a way home and then pick up the spider another day. No matter what the scenario, your ride is ruined and it's going to cost you time, money and a hassle. But you recently watched a video of how to repair your own puncture and bought the stuff to do it. This is that video. You'll often notice the puncture when the bike's parked. In this case, it's the right front wheel that's picked up a screw. Right in the middle of the tread. First thing to do is get out your repair kit. You've got a puncture repair kit with uh, all the tools you need, a mini compressor, and a multi-tool. This mini compressor is really good. And even though it's a cheap multi-tool, it works just fine for this sort of job. What you need is one with pliers and a nice sharp knife. Once you've got everything ready to use, you need to pump up the tyre again. It'll usually be a slow leak and a pumped up tyre is a lot easier to repair than a flat one. I've recorded a long sequence of pumping up the tyre here just to show you the performance of this little mini compressor. I'm really impressed with it. I've just plugged it into my accessory socket and let it run. After only a minute, it's almost up to 20 pounds. That's pretty impressive. However, the higher the pressure, the longer it takes proportionally. So to get about uh, 25 pounds, it's ended up taking just over three minutes, which is still not very long for such a small compressor. Anyway, back to the tools. These brown, snot-covered, ropey type plugs are the absolute best plugs to use. Don't bother using any other type. It really helps the longevity of the repair if you've also got some uh, cement to put on um, the, uh, the plug. But it's a good idea to actually put it on your reamer as well um, so that, that uh, a bit of the cement gets into the hole before you actually insert the plug. The easiest way to get a screw out of a tyre is to use a screwdriver. So just using the standard tools out of your spider, find the Phillips head screw and take the screw out. Of course, if it was a nail or other item, you'd need your multi-tool um, pliers to be able to take it out. There's no getting around it. This takes some muscle. You can screw the, the reamer in and then you need to force it backwards and forwards until it actually becomes quite easy to move in and out. Otherwise, you won't get the plug in. Leave the reamer in until you're ready to put the plug in. Otherwise, too much air will escape. Again, this is difficult, but you can do it. Now the plug's in. All you have to do is gently pull the inserter back out and the plug will stay in the tyre. You'll notice I've left a little bit hanging out. I'll now just trim that off and leave a little bit, don't try to trim it too close because that will actually weld into the tyre as the tyre heats up when you uh, ride off again. Pump the tyre back up to pressure and the job's done. All within a few minutes. To keep my kit nice and secure I've just bought one of those uh, clip top lunchbox type uh, boxes and put all the bits in the one box. The tyre's repaired your ride's not ruined, 
and your mates will have fun watching you do the repair.